morning. So, it's Saturday, June 15th. It's 52 degrees out, 7.30 in the morning. Gorgeous morning. And on my, <laughs> on my way to an auction. Big, big uh, surprise, right? Um, this is my fourth auction in one week. So, uh, it's supposed to be indoors. Uh, there were some pictures online. Yeah, I don't know, it's hit or miss. You never know what you're gonna see. So, uh, it's a little bit of an adventure. Jump in, let's go check it out. Oh, there's that bar stool, that, or that soda fountain stool. Hmm. I don't see that they're signed. I really only like buying prints when they're signed. Oh, that's a cool crate. Beehives. I've got some around my house right now. <laughs> Has to be. That one's interesting. Oh, the bottom's blown up. Oh, this is mostly Asian cast iron. I've seen this before. popular demand. That's pretty cool. thermometer the glass is cracked. That's some pioneer stuff there. Victorian. Looking. That's not old. Made to look old. Those are pretty popular. Hmm. I don't know who he was. Beast. What do you do with that thing? Man, that's a huge display cabinet. Too big for me. Another unappealing sign. Backed by popular demand. This stuff has all been in auctions before. Nope. Nobody bought this because it's just too big. It's gigantic. Production. Oh, my favorite old pictures. Is there more? Oh, okay. It's a 
quite the flood. That's all local. Right in town. God, those are ghastly. Stereo viewer cards. Do I need another camp stove? Yes, they do. Outboard parts. Hey, boss. It was good, thanks. Wow. I try to sell these on eBay now. The last one I put stickers all over and I called it a piece of art and then I got through with it. Hmm. Otherwise, they kept taking them down. <laughs> wow. Well, that stuff's going to be a hard sell. Or maybe not. Well, uh, these are really organized. So, all for those outboards. That's an old one. Repop. A and W Ripper. I've got some of those already. I'll take a run at these if they go for the right price. Oh, I like those. Saw that. 
That's pretty cool. I got quite a few of that style. Why do people paint stuff? Rock'em Sock'em. Seems to work. Cub Scouts. Nineteen seventies to nineteen eighties. Sailing white. I think it's all there. It's actually lettered. Hmm. Hey Daryl. Having fun? Oh, yeah, it gets <laughs> Something to look forward to. I'm sure there's poison on that thing. Well, nothing good can come from all of that. There's a viewer. Military. It's not old. Okay. Keep it quiet, I'll tip off everybody else. No brand. Big chunk out of it. That's really old. Why would somebody paint that? It doesn't look good. It could be a hard sell. That's kind of cool. Just frames. What all is back here? Some kid will buy that bikes, no bikes on, on the court sign and he'll just peel the, the no off it. I bet he stinks. I bet he stinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of these. What do you want? What are you looking for? 22? My daughter wants to see. What is she? Well, you gotta give her a big old phone. She likes mine that's got it at the bar. Oh, that's a cool old gun. Oh, how's the black eye? Yeah. He's got that one. That gets damaged. I love that stuff. Later 
So this thing is ridiculously big and heavy. It's like 10 feet by 4 feet. It has a wood frame on the back that's all busted up. I don't know what I could do with it. But the reason I bought it, I mean, the Coke sign's good. And it's got two bolts on the top and two on the bottom. And that's doable. That's like 3 feet by 2, two feet. That's a pretty good old Coke sign. So I'll deal with that. That's just a magnet sign stuck on there because I just needed somewhere to put it. I like the 30 minute parking. I might just cut that part off because I just think that's really cool. The rest of it I think is kind of a, I don't know, maybe it's for the scrap guy. So I guess the first thing I want to do is to lay out this 30 minute parking only sign. Because the rest of this is too toasty and too big to get inside. But a little cute sign like that would be really neat. So let's lay it out. Oh, it's even hard to see my line. Anyway, I'm trying to use as much without going into the rust zone. Or going down into the other lettering in case I find some use for warning. That might be cool. I'm not sure yet. Alright, let's cut. I'm going to be using this. But I need both hands. So I can't film, and I got no photographer. Wow. So that cut pretty easy, but it's got a wood substructure underneath it, so I gotta go get a different saw to cut the wood. So I'm just grinding up my carbide here. In the meantime, I'm gonna pull this off. This has got four bolts. Hopefully it doesn't give me any grief and comes off. One-handed. Whoa. <laughs> Wasp Nest Central. Maybe that's why they're all buzzing around me here. Cool. That's a nice old sign. Let's get that other saw. Yeah, that's a cute little sign now. I got a little trimming to do the my circular saw I didn't like hitting this metal, so I gotta use my plunging tool to clean that up. I might even take that back a little bit and put another board in here and that way I can fold the edge over like this one's folded over. Won't take long. I like it. And another real bonus from this is who gets the original mounting hardware to put it on a wall for, a, you know, an old time Coke sign. It's all there. It's perfect. All I got to do is unbolt it, put it under the hose, and I'll just hook it to the sign and you can put that thing up anywhere in just minutes. Nice. You know, when you buy stuff, you kind of got to play with it a little bit. I took this away from the auctioneer today because he just wouldn't stop playing with it. And I said, look, I got a long drive. I've got to unload the truck. Can't have you playing with this stuff all day long, so I'm just going to buy it from you right now. It doesn't really go with this. It's uh, This is actually a cookie jar that didn't have a lid. Old stoneware. It's like a salt glaze. And the jar was gone for this, so somebody had put this together years ago and that's just how it stayed so I got that I'm gonna have to really race through this because man it didn't look like there was really that much stuff that was good when there's so much stuff and there's a lot of stuff there that just wasn't in my wheelhouse doesn't mean it wasn't any good stuff I just I'm not really an end user for a lot of stuff I'm buying this stuff to, to resell it and I got to look at it from that standpoint there are a lot of people that were buying stuff just to take home and use in their home which is, you need that buyer too. So, um, really old vintage, kind of a repoose casket, trinket box. 
the hinge plate is here and it came unsoldered, which is so typical for those. I have the hiccups, so sorry in advance. I, I don't know what's going on. This is made in Japan. These are pretty cool. Two rotary telephones. I mean, they don't set the world on fire, but they sell. There's a market for that sort of stuff. This is loaded. I can get it open. I'm waiting to just fling that out. I don't know if you can see this without the mouse, but it's full of old time buttons. And it's literally five pounds probably. And then this was just ones that are still on cards, all the rest that's in that box. There's a lot. So those are a winner always. Because I can bust these up into like one pound bags and sell them on the online store and stuff flies out the door. So I do a lot in old vintage locks and this is a mortise style so that you would at the edge of your door there'd be a pocket cut out and this slides into that pocket and this one has a deadbolt which is pretty cool and in the same box the escutcheon two sets of glass knobs with um, brass barrels with the with the spindle and some other escutcheon that I haven't seen before but I'm pretty sure would you know be a cover plate for this one so that was a good one and I typically, just for this piece, I get, depending on what brand it is and everything, probably $25 to $45 for one of these online. Add for each and every other thing. I don't always sell them as, as a unit. And I think this is just some targets that were in another random box that I don't care about. They'll probably end up at Goodwill. This is an old boat fuel tank at... Uh, Looks like somebody sent it out for professional paint that's got, still got tape, you know, over all the mounting points. So there was, there was more boat motor stuff there today, which was good. I'll show you in a minute. I just sold one of these. But that's not why I bought this box. I didn't buy it because of that. I didn't buy it because of the beer sign. I'm blanking out on what that even might be. But these, these I think were um, calendar toppers. Let me see if I can get these closer to you without tripping and breaking my neck over the pile I got on the floor here. These are probably gonna be a lot of glare. I'm pull one out of this bag. Isn't that cool? It'd just be like, you know, it would be on the top of the calendar. And the other one was from the same store, just a little different time of year. So that's why I bought that box. And I love the old, the old graphics, really cool. 1938. Pretty cool, right? I don't care about this stuff. I do care about this. And this is a, a really old ovenware. It's probably 30s, maybe 1940, but I'm going to say it's probably 30s. So that was a cool find. You know, when they make up a flat, you get a number of things that you really aren't interested in. But the other thing I really was interested in is this antique knife block. Wood, of course. And uh, they always have some kind of little transfer. Some of them are hand-painted. But this part's always hand-painted. You can see how, how crooked that is. <laughs> you know, things, the old, old things are not perfectly machine-made like you know, modern things are. It's part of the charm, isn't it? So that was a good box. I really liked that. That's a deluxe battery charger. Stop throwing those batteries away. Isn't that cool? 
Love the graphics. I thought this is really cool. It's uh, made by Ralston Purina. Most people recognize Purina from the dog food company, cat food. Um, but they make food for just about anything. And in this particular case, Purina Mink Chow. How unusual, right? Really cool. Um, this is a wood briefcase. It's all finger joint corners on it. And, um, well, when they made it, let me show you this part first. This is hinged so that this divider can be slid in and out. And the humidity's probably got it today because it's pouring rain outside. Okay. This is a universal. And it's, a, it's got the percolator guts to it. And I saw the, so it's, aside from the cord, it's really complete. Spigot works good. These are all made out of wood. Nice. It's all there. Made a cord. And like I said before in some of my other videos, these cords on these vintage um, appliances, they, they still make uh, reproduction ones. You can go buy brand new, usually at the big box stores like Menards. There's just some silver plate in here. I don't really care too much about that, but uh, it's all stuff that has value going down the road. These are... Oh, Reed and Barton. Silver plate. Two of them. Candles. Little candle holders. So that was cool. I like that. This was cool. I like the saw. I just didn't like the fact that they painted the blade. But, wow, look how old that is. That's crazy old. You want to have a workout? Cut your firewood with this. So I also, got stuff all over. It's not a clean business. If you're thinking this is clean and you want to get into it, nah. So I, I got this sign. I paid up for it, but to get a conservation sign, in a sale. So that was pretty cool. I was lucky to get that. Got a couple of signs. Got a big... <laughs> I don't know, it's probably a municipality sign of some sort. And then this. This string hanging up, they, they just had it hung up. It's an, and it's two-sided. You know, all that tobacco stuff, it's really good inventory. This pile of bowls is only a dollar. USA Pottery, California. This is another oven proof. This is like that other one, what did I do with it? Well, anyway, it's a smaller number oven proof. Again, probably 30s and 40s. And this is McCoy. Old school McCoy. So, what a nice little stack that was. And this, I don't know, there was an arts and crafts guy, obviously. Um, this one really doesn't do it for me, because, well, it's 1978, 9, Alabama, but somebody took the license plate and put some gas fittings together and made a, a wall sconce out of it. But I like this one. And I liked it, basically, for the tag it's a 1963 Florida. You know, I live in Florida part of the year too, so I thought that was kind of cool. It's a little crusty, but most everything from 1963 is crusty. And a cool old crate that these were inside of, which is kind of neat. They didn't have it assembled there. I'm assuming it assembles. We'll soon find out if it's right or wrong. Boom. How cute is that with the little hobnail shade in the chimney? And it's a little oil lamp. And this, I don't know who this is. If you do, let me know. 
but uh, it's it's a hand painted wood sign. It's old, it's flaking up. It's only a couple bucks. I mean, signs are <laughs> signs are huge. Signs are such good business. So completely completely stoked to get all this stuff. So there is a framed poster of the captain. I don't know, buy a lot of bar advertising too much anymore. Um, it's just because there's so much of it out there. But it went in this, you know, obviously nautical themed frame. And they had a little mishap at the auction and broke the glass. So now I have it, and it's glassless. And uh, I'm probably going to have to do something about that. Lure company, fishing lure company. I don't know what that is made out of, but some sort of plasticized medium. I don't know what it is. That's, that's really cool, I think. It's got a deer camp with a bunch of deer sitting around playing. It's not just an old advertising piece there, too. And why we're on the subject? Look at this old hams. It, uh, there's a little chunk out of here, but boy, old hams. That's, that's, that's pretty good stuff in the advertising world. And then this was neat. Hershey's milk chocolate serving temp tray. Pretty neat. Dollars. Three dollars, I know, something like that. Enamel, two burner, LP, totally complete. There's just really nothing to go wrong on these. They just work and work. And uh, really cool vintage crate. But this is weird. I buy and sell a lot of lighting. This is clearly the heaviest lamp I've ever bought in my life. This whole disc here is solid steel crazy heavy for an articulating lamp. Needs a cord, but all the old ones do. Pretty wild. And then, this sign is pretty cool. The lookout down below. Drop-ins are always welcome. And it's a, it's a wood sign. Kind of like, uh, Looks like they just laid it out, like maybe with stencils and painted it that way. I don't think it's free-handed. Yeah, actually, I do think it's free-handed, this part anyway. Maybe not this part. Clearly hand-painted, though. So that was cool. This is especially cool. This has stickers from all the old, all the old art outboards. You know, like Sea King and Neptune. Um, Man, I did, uh, this came out of that same auction that I had those outboards from last time. So, uh, yeah, really stoked to have that. To, to the collector that collects old outboards, this is going to end up getting framed. It looks kind of weird because the protective coating is still on the back. I'm not going to peel it off for obvious reasons, but uh, pretty neat. So this mirror is, like, really in amazing shape. Got a little issue on the corner down here. But overall, pretty much tremendous condition. Nobody wanted it. I think I, I, think I paid 15 bucks for it. And I bought a, a 50s soda fountain table from in a restaurant. And this was there at the sale. And when I asked about it, because they didn't put it for sale, they go, oh, that's not for sale. We're not going to sell that. And I was bummed because it would go nice with the table. <laughs> Well, it showed up today, and I'm like, is that the same one from before? And it said, yeah, the owner changed his mind, decided he wanted to sell it now. <laughs> so now I got that, and uh, it's, it's the real deal. It's an old-timer. Is this vintage Martin outboard engine with the stand, with a cast-iron base? It went really cheap. Like under a hundred dollars, and uh, somebody's gonna love it. Lastly, this uh, 
duck themed weather station. It's an Eric Dresser print. Kind of cute. Hey, thanks for coming along on this one. I kind of liked it. There was some pretty cool stuff there at the end. Um, I got a new, a new guy I'm going to try out. He's got a sale coming up a week from today. Um, I don't know anything about him. If the people that run the concessions told me that they were going to be going there next week to his first auction. So come back and we'll check that out. Hopefully there's some cool stuff there. Thanks guys. Be good. Thank mm -hmm. you.